My name is Gail Bénard. I'm an English teacher in a secondary school, Jean Moulin, in France. So we're here at the Penshaw Monument. It's really exciting for the kids because we haven't had snow for about 15 or maybe 20 years in France. So it's a real great experience for them. One of the themes that the project wanted to look at was looking at cultural identity and heritage and history, both in terms of where we've come from, but also where we are now. One of the visits that the learners took part in was a trip to a resource that we have here, which is Beamish, an outdoor museum of history. One of the things they got to do was to experience what a Victorian classroom would have been like and where they had some lessons given by a typical Victorian schoolmaster. I want you to write your name and today's date. And today's date is Sunday, the 3rd of February, 1897. Come on, so we have barely started to go into a situation where the teacher is absolutely in charge and the pupil has really no right of expression of opinion or voice and they wouldn't have had any means of complaining if they weren't happy with the way things are. One of, uh, of our students is left-handed, so <laughs> the teacher asked uh, ask, uh, the girl to, uh, to write with the right hand because at the time it was not possible to use the left hand, it was not normal. So it was a funny moment for, for, for all of us. So we wanted to look at the past and the way in which topics such as health were tackled in a previous time. They learned about food that was typically eaten. They looked at the kind of foods that were available in a Victorian era and how that impinged on health. But they also looked at physical activity, the kind of sports that were played in a playground in a school break, for example. We all thought from the start that a lot of what they would learn will be about their differences, but I think it became clear quite quickly that really the message that they were coming away with was that they have a lot more similarities than they do differences. In both regions, they like the same foods, they watch the same films, they know the same TV programmes, they do the same activities. That said, one of the things we wanted to do was to challenge them to try things that were different between them. We challenged the incoming visitors to a taste challenge and we gave them things that they maybe hadn't had before. Alors, vous avez sélectionné en fait des produits euh, typiquement britanniques que nous n'avons pas en France du tout. Euh, donc vous allez avoir euh, l'occasion aujourd'hui de les goûter. Alors je vais commencer par euh, le produit euh, peut-être le plus typique, qui s'appelle Marmite. Euh, je vois qu'on vous a mis un petit mot euh, sur euh, l'écran. Either love it or you hate it. So, for the most part, our learners said the same things. They like pizza and they like burgers and they like pasta, and most of the foods that they would eat were quite similar. We were quite keen to expose them to different kinds of food. C'est bon. So, they tried drinks like Iron Brew and they tried foods like Marmite and mint sauce and jelly and products that you don't typically buy in France. Some just just loved uh, the the taste. <laughs> They're actually not used to these kind of products, uh, so some didn't at all. But it's been a great experience, and they've really uh, enjoyed tasting some very typical English food. Et ça finit par s'écrouler. Uh, c'est cool, c'est cool. Oh, si, bon. j'ai trop à côté, j'adore le citron. Vous allez, voilà. C'est bon. Mmh, c'est bon. <laughs>